Hey guys, just here quick to show you how to set up your Kajabi domain. If you are new to my channel, hello, welcome. I share all kinds of different videos on how to use Kajabi. Um, and as well, while you're here, if you are new to setting up your website in Kajabi, I have a full Kajabi website blueprint that shows you how to create the content for a homepage that helps you attract your ideal clients and convert them uh, whether it's converting them into your uh, free lead magnet or into your first program, um, definitely check out the link in the uh, caption below to get that free document and to plan out your website. Okay, so how do you set up your custom domain? It's not as hard as you think. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through quick where, where to do that and then what you need to do with the information that's in there. So you're going to want to come down in your Kajabi account. You're going to come down to your settings, which is down here to the left. And then from in here, you're going to go to your site settings and you're going to go to domain. Now Kajabi gives you a, a domain. It's most likely going to be your first and last name, maybe a mixture of letters with the dot mykajabi.com. So if you want to change that so that it's not the mykajabi.com and let's say it's your first last name, so my, in my instance it'd be shanerecker.com, you need to set up a custom domain. So you're going to click set up custom domain. So there are two options here, creating a domain, connect a domain to Kajabi. So Kajabi does not sell URLs. It does not sell domains. So you have to purchase your domain through something like GoDaddy, Bluehost. There's lots of different places you can buy URLs from. Um, GoDaddy is probably one of the most popular. You're going to purchase your URL from that platform. And then it's going to have a settings inside of that platform that you need to change. So that is connecting a domain to Kajabi. If you want to create a subdomain, so a subdomain would be if your URL is hosted maybe on another site, but you want to have um, a, a, a subdomain to your Kajabi just for the courses and things like that, you can create a subdomain that looks like courses.shanerecker.com. And then it doesn't affect where your website is currently hosted. It would just change, uh, it would just change your courses and stuff like that to this domain. So in this example, we're going to show because most people are going to be connecting a custom domain. They don't necessarily need uh, a subdomain because to be honest, if you're really maximizing Kajabi, what you're paying for Kajabi, you should be hosting your website through Kajabi as well because it does offer great website uh, platform capabilities. Um, it can do almost anything that other websites can do. Uh, so it's really, honestly, it doesn't make sense to have your website hosted somewhere else. If you're paying for Kajabi, I would just have it all done in Kajabi. So then you would connect your domain. So the next thing you need to do is you need to connect your domain. So you have to actually type your domain. So you don't do the www, you just do record.ca. Then you're going to hit next. So then what it's going to ask you to do is it's going to ask you to go to your domain provider. So you're going to log into your GoDaddy or your Bluehost or wherever it is, and you're going to navigate yourself to the DNS settings for that domain provider. So everyone is different, so I'm not going to show you here, but you need to go to your DNS provider, log in, go to your, go to the URLs that you own, click on the one that you own, and then from there, go to wherever it is on that page to click on the DNS settings. And then you need to remove the existing name servers. So you'll click in GoDaddy, it's actually a menu item, it's gonna say name servers. You're gonna click on that. GoDaddy is going to have its own name servers in that place. There's gonna be two different locations. This There's gonna be one that's maybe, it's gonna look different than this, but it's gonna be Two, two spots for name servers. And what you need to do is you need to copy this one, replace one of the name servers that's in GoDaddy, and then you're gonna come back and copy this one and replace the other name server in the other spot. And then when you're done, you're gonna hit done verify domain. So I didn't do that, so it's not gonna work. But while it's trying to do that, it's gonna go in and it's gonna start trying to make that connection. It's gonna notice that those name servers are there and then basically what it's going to do is it's going to, when people type in this URL, it's going to point them to your Kajabi website that you've built here inside Kajabi. So when people go to that, it's gonna say, oh, they wanna to go to here and it's gonna direct them to your Kajabi site. 
And so once it's done, it's going to say connecting is complete and there's your domain. So mine's going to error out because I haven't actually set this one up, but that's basically all you have to do is just change those name servers in your domain host uh, to the Kajabi name servers and then it will move over here. And then once that connection has happened, your DNS settings for that URL will now be hosted inside of Kajabi. So if you need to change any records or do your mail, set up your custom mail domain or whatever, that's all going to go now here in the DNS settings in Kajabi. It's basically moving the DNS settings out of GoDaddy and putting them into Kajabi. So again, you want to go into here, you're going to, you're going to follow the steps. You're going to take those two name servers. You're going to change out the name servers that's in whatever software you're using to host your domain, you're going to come back and connect and it, you're going to wait. Now, if it errors out, I will say, try it again. Cause I've done this a couple of times for clients where it was erroring out. And then for some reason, the third time or whatever time it connected, sometimes it has trouble communicating, but once it's connected, you are good to go. And that's basically all you do. Okay. Thanks. Hope this helps.